I'm Brad Sherman from The Telegram. We have election results, and we're going to share with you the winners and the losers after this. Stay tuned. Jackson and Vinton counties and Ohio as a whole had its fair share of visitors this election season. It all culminated with Tuesday night's election, and it appears we're moving forward with the same president. Other winners of national interest included Sherrod Brown, Bill Johnson, and Steve Stivers. A little closer to home, state representative winners included Ryan Smith, seen here, Debbie Phillips in another state rep race, as well as Marie Hoover beating Leonard Holzapple for the 4th District Court of Appeals. But without any further ado, let's go ahead and get into our local races. We'll take a look at the numbers and hear from a few of the winners. First off, in one of the county commissioner races, it was Paul Howler, the former law enforcement educator, also was in the U.S. Navy. He beats Shane Meldick by a total of 7,107 votes compared to 5,000 137. Howler spoke to the radio's Pete Wilson about what he plans to bring to the commissioner's office. You know, I, I think I'm going to bring some enthusiasm uh, to the commissioner's office, and uh, I'm going to get out in the public eye a little bit and uh, have some fun with it, but, uh, you know, Dad, be proud. So, and, uh, you know, hopefully I bring that integrity w along with it, so. You know. Howler will be replacing Jim Riepenhoff, and it turns out his face will be the only new one on the Jackson County Board of Commissioners as it's Ed Armstrong, the longtime commissioner, holding on to his seat by beating Wellston area resident Bill Vickers. And it was Armstrong with 7,072 votes compared to 5,001 votes for Vickers. Let's hear from Ed Armstrong. I am I'm, I'm humbled that uh, and, and quite honored that the people of Jackson County has enough faith uh, in me to uh, go ahead and conduct the county business for another four years. And we intend to do that in a uh, professional and business-like manner. Okay. 26, Driscoll, 2377. Brown is the winner there. That was Benton County Commissioner Mike Bledsoe announcing the winner of our next race. And it was a very closely contested race for Benton County Prosecutor, and it was Trisha Kimes Brown defeating Robert Driscoll by only a total of a few hundred votes. Red Thompson Jr. from the Telegram spoke with Kimes Brown about her wins. In the county, what's the prosecutor's office under Teresa Kimes Brown going to be like? Work, work, work. <laughs> I'm ready to get to it. Um, I've uh, been, I've not been in the office the last few days for campaigning, and I'm just ready to get back to work. I love to practice law. That's what, that's what I do. I can't imagine having any other job, and I can't wait to sit down with each of the offices individually and devise a plan for moving forward as soon as possible. And finally, Sean Justice will remain Benton County's top lawman. He won convincingly over his challenger, Chuck Boyer. Sean Justice had 3,167 votes compared to 1,731 for Boyer. A really nice win for you tonight. Yes, I, I was very proud of the, the uh, win and, and just very thankful that all the voters or most of the voters uh, you know, decided that they'd like to keep me in office because I still have a lot that I want to get done. I have a lot of time left to go before retirement, and I'm just here to see what I can put together. Switching gears to the issues on the ballot in Jackson County, it was the EMS levy and the senior citizens levy, both passing convincingly. The TV levy, however, failed. That means that that program will now need to be funded out of the county's general fund. Moving on now to your city and village issues in Jackson and Benton counties. Some of these races were quite close and could actually change depending on the number of provisional ballots and which way people voted in those. But as you can see, a list of the pass and fails there. The Wellston Fire, MacArthur Parks and Recreation, Hamden Police, Hamden Fire, all passing. Uh, ones that are failing, it appears, are the Wellston Cemetery, Colton Police, and Colton Streetlight. Now, very quickly, just taking a look at some of your township races. 
very quickly in Jackson County, the Jackson Township and Liberty Township fire levies both passing, and up in Benton County, the Brown Township fire levy and Jackson Township fire levy both passing. Two levies on the township level in Benton County did fail. Those were the Jackson Township Cemetery Levy and the Richland Township Road Improvement Levy. We thank you for watching this special election report brought to you by The Telegram. We'll see you next time.